man, you made it! You came all the way up here to Santa Fe, New Mexico, where the air is thin and the peppers are dry and spicy. Well, since you're here, come on in. I'd love to give you a tour. Please do wipe your feet. We are in the desert after all, so there's dirt and sand everywhere. Heck, I don't even wear shoes anymore. I like to do it just like the old school days. Right in the sand, right in the dirt. Land under my feet. All right, come on in. So as you can see, with these thick walls, we are living in an actual adobe. An adobe house that was built in 1881. Come to find out, uh, we are in one of the oldest houses in Santa Fe. So that is really cool. If you'll just come right, oh, and before I forget, as you see here, all of this teal, it's pretty much um, a color that you're gonna see kind of just sprawled about throughout Santa Fe and throughout the interior of most homes. Um, on the exterior, you're not allowed to change any of the colors on the windows or anything like that if it's historic, which is what we live in. Um, we are able to paint these, but who would want to? I mean, it's part of history. So if you just come through here, we're gonna see the lab, as Matt likes to call it. This is where he spends most of his time. This is the, the, the layer, the lab. Uh, Beaker likes to hang out in here as well. Oh, this is Beaker, my, my friendly little Italian greyhound. He's very long. Meow, 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 we do have quite a few really amazing pieces kind of randomly placed. So come on in, I'll give you the rest of the tour. Yes, this casita is so old that there's actual skull heads that were beginning to come out just over time. So we decided to paint them black to really show respect. A lot of dead bodies in this house. <laughs> come on, we're gonna do a tour of the living room here. It's okay, it's all right. I know this house is old, but I'm pretty sure it's not haunted. So right in here, we have the living room table, which much resembles a surfboard, but don't be fooled, it's actually a tree. Oh. Speaking of wood, we have our fireplace here where we make fires with wood. <laughs> There's a lot of wood out here in Santa Fe, let me tell you. Uh, this definitely comes in handy. We haven't really experienced the winter quite yet, but I hear that it's very cold, but a very dry cold. So we'll see how that goes. Um, up here on the mantle, I have a little array going on here, as I typically do. Right here is uh, actually an antique of Naphrodite, which I love. This is an heirloom that I got through my family, through my mom actually. So. I cherish her dearly and she's very heavy, so if I have to use her for self-defense, I can as well. She's multifaceted. Jonathan Adler art um, a little bit throughout the house as well, for those who may love that designer, because I do. All right, right in here, I, as you can see, love my throw pillows. A lot of them do come from places like Home Goods and Marshalls, but a place that I can recommend to you that you will love and get all kinds of artsy kind of pillows like this and a couple of these other ones is from Society6 and when you purchase from them you are supporting artists so everybody wins we've got the skull painting made of flowers and birds nice resemblance of how life and death are all part of life all right, we're gonna mosey on into the kitchen area, dining room area. Now, I do want to mention, before I forget, a lot of this house is in the process of being renovated. So you're kind of getting a before uh, action right now. This whole kitchen's gonna be redone. Um, the microwave's gonna be above the stove, like the whole thing. So the refrigerator, however, is staying. Because who doesn't want a massive refrigerator. 
that you can walk into. See you later. Oh, just kidding. All right, now over here in this corner, we've got all kinds of machines to do different things. We've got something that brews, something that blends, something that pumps. Got it all here at Casita Day Fields. I think that pretty much covers it in here. Oh, I don't want to forget. Look at this, guys. I found this at a donut shop called Who's, and it's Matt and Beak. I mean, how? <laughs> it's like they knew. Oh, and also the backyard area, which is also going to be completely renovated. We're going to get some flagstone out here and all kinds of good stuff, but it's so beautiful. We love how it's isolated and closed off for Beak. He comes out here and lays in the sun. We get the hummingbirds. It's just, it's magical. All right, that pretty much covers the kitchen area. Follow me for the rest. So right in here, we have a little bit of an art gallery situation going on. Right here, we've got Matt's dad's sailboat with Matt and his dad there in Annapolis, Maryland. Got the horse and the electrifying woman. And over here is the master bedroom where you can see I have a lot of lights. This is my rain lights that do multiple functions, which is really cool. Lights above the bed. And over here, the mirrored vanity with the lit mirror. Now mind you guys, I'm going to tell you in great detail where I got all this stuff, how it functions, but that's gonna be on a separate episode. But for now, I will have all of this listed in the description below, okay? So you will be able to at least access it in the meantime. Oh, oh man, oh man. Let me show you what I love. I got all of this, by the way, or the good part, majority of it from Amazon. And this is my perfume case. All of my perfumes and such, completely dust free. All these drawers. I'm telling you guys, this thing is really well made. I've banged on this. I've cleaned this. Uh, you can take the drawers out. You can see the fingerprints from how many times I've done that. Um, it's so good. It's just so good. And all of these pieces, you can separate. So you can buy them separate and make your own tower. Isn't that not awesome? I'm very much into Egyptian art right now, so you're going to kind of see random Egyptian pieces throughout the house. I'm about to show you something that's sacred. Sacred to every woman and many men. The closet. Now before we enter, you have to know <laughs> the lyrics, or at least the important ones to Rapper's Delight before you come in. But if you don't know it, it's okay. We have it right here. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Rapper's Delight, baby. I, I would sing this song on the bus during cheerleading. That was my jam. Anyway, come on in. So this is my closet. Doodly doo, doodly doo. We've got the motion sensor lights, the designer handbags displayed ever so strategically. I, I like to have everything uh, put together in my closet as if it's a store. As if you're walking in, everything is facing you, everything you can see, it's clean. You can open up drawers to all of your jewelry. You know, I, I don't, it, it's difficult enough to get ready. I don't want anything to hinder the artistic process of putting an outfit together. So everything is put away just so I I try to cover up some of my designer bags in their dust bags and such because it's important to do that. But everything is easily accessible. Not a lot of guessing going on, which is what we want. And color coordination is key. Again, I will be doing a video on how to organize your closet. So that's the closet. You guys just saw an intimate part of me, by the way. Another intimate part of me is the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bathroom. This room along with the kitchen is getting completely redone. So just for the for the time being, we did put up a few art pieces, um, but the entire bathtub area, all of that is gonna be 
totally retiled, all white, and probably repainting the walls as well. But this I absolutely love. This came with the house or the casita. I love how all of it's mirrored. So when you're taking a shower or a bath and all of this gets fogged up, you can still do your, your regimen. You can see. I mean, is it just me or is that not awesome? Well, I, I think that about covers it. Let's go ahead and walk back towards the door and we'll see if we missed anything. <laughs> Uh, oh, I did not mention the Kula Ninja Samurai Sword. You knew that she had to be present. Well, here she is. She's ready and raring to go. And that is a real Samurai Sword that almost cut off my finger. So, word to the wise. Make sure you have a stunt sword. <gasps> <laughs> I'm coming after you, Katana. Yeah. All right, oh, and the gym, this is my gym. Training up here is brutal because we are 7,200 feet above sea level, so it does make it more difficult to work out, to train. Apparently, athletes come out here to train just because of that, because it's so intense, but it makes you hella healthy, so yay, Santa Fe! So this is where we've been. This is where we've been living um, when we're not in the RV. We do have Beastly the Beast just 20 minutes down the street, so we do visit her from time to time, start her up, make sure she's good. But this is where we are in the meantime. So thank you so much for coming and taking this tour with me. And I look forward to taking you along on so many more journeys that are gonna happen pretty much behind these walls. So come follow me, subscribe. Open your mind.